Hello, and welcome to Fortress Alaska. I'm your host, Dave, and today we're going to do another book review. Today's book review is Pistols of the Warlords by Ian McCollum of Forgotten Weapons fame. Uh, if you know anything about Chinese pistols, you'll get the joke about the lettering there and the uh, upside down pistols. Anyways, this is not like the other books from Headstamp Publishing. Uh, not that it's not good, it's just that rather than being highly technical, this is more a coffee table book with tons and tons of photos because uh, there's not much to say. Some basic history on uh, the development of the Chinese military and Chinese arms industry, but mostly just lots of pistols of the warlords. And if you have experience seeing Chinese pistols, you'll know that they get the characters wrong when they try to copy European pistols. Uh, so you have things like Wowzers instead of Mausers. You'll have tangent rear sights that don't actually do anything and the numbers will be out of order. And uh, it sounds silly like it sounds silly when you think about it, but how many of you could like remake Chinese characters from memory? Yeah, exactly my point. None of you. So can't blame them. They tried to do their best. Um, the photography for this book is once again amazing up the headstand publishing standards. Beautiful pictures, lots of good information in here. Um, along with all the various guns they do talk about, they also include photos of the European original. Understanding that a lot of these guns were originally just copies that artisans made in their own shops. Some actually were made by arsenals and are pretty good quality. Others I doubt are safe to shoot. But so like this one, they really liked the C96 Mauser, so much so that it had its own category in the Chinese military. You had pistols, rifles, and Mausers. And uh, so this was actually made, this one, by the uh, Taku Naval Dockyards. So it's a very well machined pistol. Other ones you'll see in here that they have uh, look like somebody made it in their home garage. So the, uh, the book is interesting, not a lot of text. Like I said, just generally lots of pictures with some text about those particular pictures. It's like I said, more a coffee table book. Uh, it is definitely worth it in my mind if you have any history, any interest in the history of Chinese military and Chinese firearms. Um, just showing you random pictures throughout here because there's just so much to see that you know you could just flip through the book. I mean, it's, it's enormous. But I mean, right down to like, you know, the Chinese even copied the 1911, so. Anyways, once again, this is Pistols of the Warlords by Ian McCollum. You'll find it on Headstamp Publishing. It is a unique and interesting book. I would highly recommend it for any firearms enthusiast. It is a good coffee table book. I'm going to add it to my collection of my other books from Headstamp Publishing. Uh, I will say this. They make the most quality books that I have ever seen. So... These are investments. These aren't like paperbacks that you buy and read and throw away. These are investment quality books. These are these are even better than collector grade books for those of you who remember collector grade publishing, which is gone now. But these are even better than collector grade publishing. They don't have a lot out yet, but they still have more coming. They're a new company. So anyways, uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please like and subscribe. Please leave comments, ask questions, all the usual stuff uh, to help the algorithm. You can find me on Facebook and other social media stuff. Uh, I'm on Patreon. Uh, and as always, have a good day and get out shooting.